It's a new box. I think I've said that a few days ago that I got this, these boxes, two boxes from Let's Roll. I didn't just get them. I pretty much reached out. I reached out to Let's uh, Roll. I simply said, I saw John. I saw Camilo from Barber CVO 19. I saw Cycle Fanatics, John. I saw Rob Simmons, Robert Simmons. Uh, be the boss of your bike. I've seen a lot of their videos um, talking about the Let's Roll dolly system and i said i gotta try it out so i reached out to them sent it out to me first of all i'm gonna put it together and that's what we're gonna do in this video yeah let's unbox it so let's unbox it and uh, start putting it together i think it could be really uh useful in my uh, smaller and tight garage for maneuvering gray ghost over here my 2022 lowrider st when i do my old changes in and out filming stuff like that so let's unbox and then uh, I'll take it from there. I haven't said it before. This is the current system I use. I don't know, $140. I think, I don't remember. Harbor Freight Lift, which served me a few times. Uh, not for oil changes, pretty much for uh, washing the bike. But that's what I currently use. So left my knives in the house so can't find the knives let's revert to the good old method of a screwdriver flat screwdriver okay this is the lift yeah as you know it works uh i don't know if you've seen uh let's roll maybe you have a uh, let's roll system works two ways there's how you doing there's a, a lift where you lift the bike up from the center and then you roll a uh, dolly underneath it and then lower the bike on the dolly and the dolly is like really swivelly and very smooth and stuff like that so that is that is the lift itself pretty heavy okay this part is uh felt or something or very strong oh that goes on the ground and this goes there's rubber over here nice rubber that's what hits the frame by it's uh, rated a, th a 1,100 pounds capacity, the lift capacity. Oh, you do need to set it up. There you go. Quality control. And lubricating uh, grease, actually. That's nice, they provide the grease. This is really heavy, by the way. Okay, pretty simple goes in here, like that. Yeah, let me lubricate it a little bit. Run it up and down a few times. Okay, in case you didn't know, it says <laughs> this is the lift. Let's take care of this part. What rubber caster wheels with locks. Oh, very nice actually. Look at that. Four of these. The hardware needed. This part is stickers. Oh, I love stickers on my bike. And these are the mounts. These are the two ramps and the, the frame sits over here. Oh, again, quality control. That's, that's always nice to see. Let me show you the build quality. Really, really massive, really strong, nicely welded, really nicely done. And that's Let's Go Cruiser. And this is the top, this is the way up. Obviously they have instructions over here how to do it, but we're, we're pretty smart, we know how to do it, right? Anyway, instructions are pretty simple, showing the bolts needed and the washers. Just watch what I'm doing. You can choose uh, what, what height to put it on. I will go the highest, okay? I want the bike as high as possible.
That was easy. Now for the casters, rubber casters. I'm really, really hopeful. L look at my, look at my garage uh, floor over here. It's kind of uh, not really smooth though, to say the least. And I'm really, really hopeful uh, that uh, these rubber wheels will handle handle these bumps because my uh, my current metal metal casters from Harbor Freight are they really struggle in here. So fingers crossed. This will work. They come with two uh, lock, lockable or brakes on the casters. So I'll put one over here and one diagonally on, the, on that corner. A normal one on this side right here. Okay, next one over here. Okay, that went rather easy. I used wrenches, you know, you've seen the bolting on. And simple, you know, installed all four casters all around looks good now i'm going to test it out now one of my biggest concerns was when i actually reached out was that let me show you my garage the way the garage is built there's a small like ramp getting onto the garage let me see you see do you see the ramp you see the ramp that goes onto the garage so i'm concerned wondering if the dolly will be able to get in and out no problems. And second thing is, will the uh, dolly be able to handle my rough, my rough garage? So let's give it a test. So let, first, let's see if it rolls properly on this concrete, this uh, older concrete, I would say. And then we'll check the ramp itself. I really wanted this to work. As you've seen, it works. It's not the smoothest because this floor is really, really rough. Like, look, let me try to get how close. Look how old and messed up this concrete is with these pebbles sticking out. And it rolls and it moves. I'm happy at that now, about that. So now let's check out this ramp. Now, my concern is they did this very, very low po profile. Look, look at the distance that uh, pretty much this lower frame piece of frame is from the ground. And I'm afraid that when we try to go downhill, this is gonna scrape. If that happens, I already have an idea. It actually works. Oh yeah. There you go. Another, <laughs> another, what do you say? Another thing off my, my chest. Whew, I was, I was really concerned that it won't, that it won't lie. Cause this is a pretty, pretty steep, uh, little ramp over here. So it works. Now let's try it out and then move the bike around, take it in and out. Let's do it. This is specifically told to do, you put the, the initial lift, the jack, on this side, on the right side of the bike, because then you roll the dolly itself from the other side. So we're gonna start by lifting. I have to find a center of gravity. It might not work the first shot till I learn the CG of this bike, the balance point of this bike. They tell you to keep it in gear so the tire, the rear uh, a wheel doesn't spin. So I did that. Now let's let's lift it. Oh, shit. 
You can use either uh, a drill. They say not a not an impact uh, wrench, but actually a drill. Slowest speed, seven eighths socket, and just lift it carefully. Let's see if my DeWalt 12 volt is strong enough. Gaka, not strong enough. I'm gonna go to a wrench. Okay, I nailed the balance point first shot. Let me show you so you have your own reference. Pretty much if you're doing it on a, in this case, a low rider, a soft tail frame, pretty much take, try to figure out the picture. Wheels, both tires are up in the air. Make your reference point, take it from there. You need to lift it high enough so the dolly will come in from, from the other side. Let me see if it fits already. Okay, now it's, it rolls in. There you go, I took the dolly a little bit forward. Just, just uh, on that bolt right there. And now I'm gonna lower it. Let me see that it's, it's got good uh, space on the other side. Oh yeah, tons of space, tons of space over here. Can even push it out a little bit. Yep. Now I'm gonna lower the bike and let the dolly take care, hold, bear the weight of the, oh my God, I fucking, I stepped in the fucking mouse trap. This, this never comes off. This is stronger than crazy glue. God, what a mess. I'll be right back. Okay, I was able to get uh, that thing off, but my my shoes, I have to figure out how to get that off. So let's continue. Let's drop the bike down on the dolly. That's it. And it's out. Now the bike is on on the dolly only. As you can see, where it's mounted. These are the pebbles. Look how, look how coarse and how disgusting this floor looks. Now for the real trial. Let's take it in and out and spin it around and see if it's, if it's that good. Yeah. Well, it's not as smooth at, as at uh, Robert Simmons and at John's place, but my uh, floor is pretty shitty over here, but it does move. I'm scared a little bit. Whoa! Now for the real test. Let's take it in and out. I'll do it slow. Scared to do it. There we go. There goes nothing. That's not the fucker. <laughs> oh my god! It is. The bike started rolling because there's a there's down a downhill. The bike went down and it started rolling downhill. I had to run quickly to the casters. Oh, when I see it's almost, it almost fell off over here. Well, it's doable. It's not recommended because I have a downhill over here, which is really, really bad. And at the minute the, well, it went down this ramp, okay? But it's highly uh, not recommended to try to roll it downhill. It literally went downhill. Oh my God, the bike went off the ramp. Everything was good. And then it started rolling downhill. I grabbed it. I just grabbed it and ran towards the locks, towards the brakes and the casters. I'm going to take it off the lift now and bring it back in.
As you've seen, guys, it works well. I highly recommend not to try this slippery, fast dolly going downhill with a 700 pound bike. Here it's level, I have no problem, it's good. It, it eats up those, uh, those pebbles and it spins and moves. Going down this ramp, that's when the bike ran away from me. So that's it guys, this is the f uh, first video. Initial unboxing and setting up, a little test to see how it works. Stay tuned for the next video, I'll be reviewing it, looking at it and trying to figure out, you know, what it's better, what it's best at and uh, how it can help me in my little garage over here. Hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative from my garage. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift. Till the next video guys, peace out. Yeah. Set it up. Can't find the knife. Let's revert to the gold old. Can't we? F oh.